Kenya is a country of great diversity. Straddling the equator, it is home to the Big Five and cultivates some of the world's richest coffee and tea strands. With the savanna within its borders and the Indian Ocean off the coast of Mombasa, the Kenyan landscape is a cataclysm of contrasting beauty. Home to 50 million people, it is against this backdrop that one of the largest HIV epidemics in the world exists. According to data from the National AIDS Control Council, 42% of new HIV infections occur among adolescents and young people. Part of these are young key populations and they represent the proportion that is at a higher risk of contracting HIV and include young men who have sex with men, young women who sell sex, young people who inject drugs, young transgender people and young people in prisons. Even as young key population are recognized as a vulnerable group, the global response to HIV has largely sidelined young people. To address this, Kenya has developed the Fast Track Plan and the National Implementation Guidelines for HIV and STI programming among young key population. A pilot intervention was initiated with young men who have sex with men and young women who sell sex in Kiambu and Mombasa respectively. We partnered with MPEG, a KP-led organization in Kiambu, and ICRH Kenya, an NGO which works in Mombasa. My name is Margaret Wamboka. I'm from Bumbolulu. I'm from Sherea, I'm from Sheshe, I'm from Kinja and Mabeshte, Uchonga, Kukunya. Ani, hivyo ndo mitu wanapenda. Kuna siku likuwa naenda tu kibarua tu hivi kama kawaida, nika kutana na pia. Sasa uyo pia, haka neleze, haka nita mambo, poa. Dada, kuna, kuna services tunafanya pale DIC. Kama unataka family planning, alafu nkikumbuka ndo nimetoka kuzaa, alafu sijui mambo na family planning, haka neleze. Kuna mizi mitatu, kuna miaka mitano, kuna zile pills, Alivoneleze, alafu wakanambia kuna tembe zinaitua prep. Alivonembe hivo, nikafikiria, nikamfata, nikamfata paka uko DIC. Hivo fika, nikapachua service, nikailezea, nikapachua cancel. Young key populations not only experience higher risk of acquiring HIV, but are also vulnerable due to a myriad of social and structural factors. For example, while unprotected sex is a significant risk factor, there is evidence that young key population are often more vulnerable to effects of poverty, discrimination, harassment, violence, social isolation, criminalization, and self-stigmatization. In addition to addressing multiple overlapping risks, programs with young key population are working towards developing supportive policies, providing stigma-free services, improving access to scholarship for education and skills training, violence-related support, among many others. Nilivo malizezo service, sa nikakuja na mi pia nikaelezia wenzangu. Pia wenzangu nikiwapeleka, wanatumizo prep, hizo service za family planning. Sasa pia huko kwa hospitals, kwa sabisa pia mimi na bangaiza. Sa zile service zili nsaidi ya DC, nikaambia na wenzangu, Sexu waka wadogo, nikawelezi ya kuhusu hizo service, na wapeleka pia nao wanaambia wengine, tuna wanaenda. There are a host of reasons why young people, particularly adolescents and young girls, sell sex. Poverty, gender inequality and limited access to education are just the tip of the iceberg. Yet even while transitions research from Mombasa indicates that 52% of women who sell sex in sex work locations are below 24 years, they remain underrepresented in research and HIV prevention programs. I came to know MPEG at around 2017 after high school. You know, this was the time when I was so naive, I didn't know things about how I can prevent myself to from HIV or from STIs or where I can get services. So I came across a friend who was actually working in this DIC and uh, he introduced me here. At first I was hesitant because I thought maybe 
I don't know these people, what are they going to do to me? But after some time, when I, get, I got here, the reception was very warm, welcoming. So I registered my names, went to the doctor, have, had a conversation with the doctor, and I, I got enrolled. So there was need to bring those hard to reach people, youngsters that are online, are all over online, and they don't want to come to seek services. Youngsters want to be reached by youngsters. I want Mututunongia na yeye and I resonate na mimi to call almost the same age. Alafu, si kukwambia tu, don't just tell me about coming for HIV. You see, that is what have led a lot of sites not even have young people because our sites have become like hospitals. There is nowhere you'll find youngsters chilling together, playing PS, watching a movie together, doing makeup. You see, having a movie night, Kukula popcorns pamoja. There is no that because our sites have become hospitals. Unasketu madawa, unasketu atu agonjwa. So there was that gap to change, to make it more friendly, to attract more people, more youth to come to come to the center. And you will find them. You will not find them at, in the streets. You'll find on them on social media. We have social sites. We have groups and all those social network and sexual networks. Those are two places that you'll find a lot of youth. The, the way they welcomed me to the doctor, I was already comfortable with their services. And uh, once I got to the doctor, he introduced me to the organization. He told me what they do. They offer HIV prevention services. They give STI services. In case you have uh, any diseases, you can come here and get any service for free. This was something that was really exciting because I was used to going to like public hospitals and uh, when you go usually to public hospitals, most of the time they won't make you feel home. So the kind of reception that was here made me feel good and uh, I think we, we had a connection and I came and started uh, receiving services from the dice. Data on young men who have sex with men is scarce. However, emerging numbers point to them having heightened risk and vulnerability. There are a few programs specifically tailored to their needs which limit their access to sexual health education and services. They also face criminalization and the stigma attached to same-sex relationships. As a group, they are at increased risk of abandonment and violence from their families. Um, we normally offer services uh, to the young KP, that is the um, biomedical intervention, structural and behavioral. We also do the psychological support to them because most of them actually going a lot of uh, mental health challenges and uh, most of them they find these places a bit safe for them to come and share with us so we do offer the services to them. Still. The country has developed guidelines to inform national programming for HIV and STIs among Yankee populations. The guidelines emphasize the need to involve the young key population at all levels of program and policy design, implementation, and evaluation so they can own the program. Yeah. I can just peep in, relax, Wi Fi deals, command. You place you have yeah. Una feel at home. Una feel at home. You can do anything you want. Yeah, like no one is there. No one is judging you. Na kujaka kaka kani lunch time. Maybe you work it. Na kama na chill. Kama 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 leo. Then you should come. Una pata kuna wasiwingi ni akwati sume zonge le share. Sisi tuta kama una pata ma best you can make friends. What you are for? Mwana pata kupiki ya for. It's just fun hanging out with friends and for your well being. Children and adolescents below the age of 18 are exceedingly vulnerable to sexual exploitation. They have a greater inability to negotiate safe sex, access sexual and reproductive health services, and exist under the constant fear of harassment and exploitation. This drives them away from programs and services, making them invisible. Yet young KPs are protected under several laws, including the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, UNCRC, the African Charter of the Rights of the Child, ACRWC, the Constitution of Kenya, and the Children's Act of 2001. These provide for the survival, development, protection, and participation rights of YKPs.
The challenges we face in programming for young KP are many. And some of the issues we find is during our outreaches and uh, being in places where sex work is happening, we find uh, young, young girls and boys under 18 who are selling sex. Since they're already in those areas, we provide services for them. And so we'll give them services like uh, sexually transmitted infection screening for them, HIV testing for them, provide treatment. But before that, the most important is linking them to child services. Young key population need to be effectively included in the HIV response. To do this, an understanding and recognition of the emerging needs of this group is required. The policy guidelines have, in various ways, uh, contributed to addressing the needs of YKP. Uh, the first thing is that the policy guidelines give practitioners and programs some level of confidence uh, to approach KP or YKP service delivery. Uh, so one of the things you find or you know is that it's quite controversial providing sexual reproductive health services to young people and many clinicians are often reluctant to provide sexual uh, reproductive health services to young people. But one of the things the guidelines have done is that they now health service providers and programs are aware that their policies and that their guidelines and that they are operating within a legal framework and that gives them a lot more confidence to provide services to most or to many of these people. For the government of Kenya and the counties, it has been that challenge of ensuring we meet the prevention need uh, as we work towards abiding by law and working towards uh, behavior change. And so to facilitate this, we set up county key populations, TWGs, whose role, apart from the general key population, has been to address emerging concerns and trends around uh, key population program and prevention needs. And so this has become a concern in all KP TWGs, and that has given a platform for engagement with the stakeholders who have a responsibility over young people who are KP in, in, in their lifestyles bringing together education, security, judiciary. And that has given the structural environment for provision of prevention services. While programming for young key populations is still in the early stages, it is essential to anchor the provision of services to select key principles. These include ensuring that young key populations have their voices heard, minimizing harm to them, not discriminating on any grounds, and remaining aware of their vulnerability. To achieve maximum benefit, collaboration with families, community leaders, county bodies, and different sectors will be essential. Young key populations have needs beyond HIV and health, and hence, the program would have to ensure that all these needs are met in partnership with other organizations. Um, there was really a gap to really reach out to the young KP because they have needs that cannot be reached in the mature program because these are young people um, and for young people they need a lot of sexual reproductive health services, they need a lot of uh, integration of youth services and youth-friendly services. Uh, for the general KP, it's just ensuring that, of course, we reach them with specific services, but services that are KP-friendly. But for this one, apart from KP-friendly, it also has to be uh, youth-friendly. Uh, we need to create an environment whereby young key populations can actually share. That is ensuring that there is safe spaces, um, be it at drop-in centers, be it just, you know, at homes, because young key populations are part and parcel of the community. And since they are our leaders of tomorrow, we need to ensure that they are equipped with education. And this only happens at safer spaces. Sayu mimi nina miaka 22 na niliingia DIC nikiwa na miaka 17. Nashukuru imenisaidia kwa sababu ilikuwa sijui ilikuwa sijui mambo na family planning wakanisaidia. Hasa nashukuru DIC. 
The lessons drawn from programming for young men who have sex with men and young women who sell sex are being utilized to scale up programs for all young key populations in Kenya. If you'd like to learn more about Kenya's programming for young key population, send an email to NASCOP through their website www.nascop.or.ke.